Hey guys. So up here in northeastern Denver today, it's actually about a 15 minute drive east of Thornton. And it's in a town called Brighton, if you're familiar with that. So up here, there are a ton of new build communities popping up all over the place. And in my opinion, probably some of the best value of any of them in the entire city of Denver. You are a bit further away from some of the amenities of Denver. You know, it's a little bit further out on the outskirts of town. However, there are definitely really good prices right now going on out here. I'm looking at a couple homes today that are in that five to 600,000 range, and they're offering interest rates right now as low as 4.75%, which is crazy. Obviously that includes some buy down that they put towards, they, they provide money at closing towards buying down the points and stuff like that. But still 4.75, I haven't heard that number in quite some time. Anyways, excited to share today, Challenger Homes, a little bit smaller of a community compared with some of the bigger ones like Richmond, and Lennar and those type of communities. So I'm just gonna show you guys kind of some of the differences when it comes to quality of construction, the different finishes that they put into these different types of builds and all that good stuff. So excited to share it with you, stay tuned. All right, you guys. Well, back with another video tour of a model home here in Brighton, Colorado, northeastern side of Denver, about a 15 minute drive east of Thornton. So this is a Challenger Homes community. I just wanna show you some of the differences that these different builders have. So with Challenger Homes, I've so far, I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna take you on a little video tour now of this home. Nice little front entry, little sitting room where it could be a home office going into a powder room. As well as a nice coat closet. What's cool about these, haven't seen this as often, it's actually a three car garage. Has a nice little nook here for your coats. And again, three car with this extra large, it's almost like a workshop. It could be almost a four car garage, to be honest, if it wasn't too big of a car. So have this nice other big area. Three car garage goes right into the, again, that main level that's got the kitchen, no bedrooms on this floor, but you have additional storage underneath the stairs. Nice family room, kitchen, little breakfast nook, dining room table here. You could have a couple bar stools as well. A lot of homes you're seeing nowadays are putting in this quartz as opposed to marble. They're putting in quartz, which is more popular right now. Supposedly it's more durable, less uh, likely to soak up different liquids and potentially get stained. So nice quartz countertops. As you can see, there's a little bit of landscaping. So when you buy a new build home, typically there's a few things that are not included. And those include the refrigerator, washer dryer, the um, landscaping, and also the window coverings. So a lot of times at new builds, you're gonna notice there's no window coverings. Those are all things that you can usually negotiate at closing, especially if you're buying the home towards the end of the year. So keep that in mind. Going upstairs. Sorry to interrupt the video, but really quickly guys, just a friendly reminder. My name's Adam. I'm a licensed realtor here in Denver and I love making videos like this. But what I really love is just connecting with people like yourselves that are considering moving here to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. Make sure you guys hit that like and that subscribe button down below. Releasing videos just like this every week and also, I'm always available if you ever want to connect on a Zoom call or just over the phone. So my phone number, my email, all that info is also down below. And make sure you guys reach out with any questions. Whether you're moving six days, six weeks, or six years from now, I'd still love to connect with you. So now let's get back to the rest of the video. Very quickly, we've got 
four bedrooms, really good for a family that all wants to be on the same level. Walk-in closet on the first bedroom. Second bedroom doesn't have an attached bathroom, but does have a walk-in closet and would share this bath here, dual vanities. Third bedroom has a walk-in closet, which is nice. Upstairs, washer dryer closet, extra large, which is nice. And the primary here actually has these two double French doors. Good size room, nice natural light. Separate bathtub, shower, really good size walk-in closet, and a dedicated bathroom. Pretty impressed. I think this is a well done, good layout. Overall, uh, just a, a very well done new build home. Gonna go back downstairs and uh, finish it out. What do you guys think? Overall, I'm uh, pretty impressed with Challenger Homes. If you want to come out and see any of these new build communities, I would love to give you a tour. So feel free to reach out. My phone number, my email, all that info is down below. And don't forget guys, I release videos every single week. So make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button so you're the first to be notified when I release my video next week. Until then, you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.